to our Christmas program heavily revolved around not only improving your time trial testing for the new year, but also uh, improving your capacity and your high end, uh, high intensity speed efforts as well for, for football conditioning, which will be our main focus when we get back into the new year. Um, but of course, we want to make sure that we earn the right to get into that phase of, of football conditioning and by building up our aerobic capacity and testing well when we return is it is a good indicator that you're in good shape and your body's ready to go into that January, February phase, which is our most demanding phase of the program uh, over the year for a footballer uh, where loads are at their highest, preparing for practice matches in March. I'm just going to go through each uh, workout for, for this week, the conditioning side of things, just so you've got an idea of what we're focusing on and you've got a bit of context on what we're trying to do. So we'll start with, oops, just hide, go. For those that haven't been on Team Builder, there'll be a few videos to watch. So you just simply click those and you'll be able to get a bit of an idea of how to use the app. Uh, there's, there's plenty of different options within the app. You can get some video feedback as well if you want me to look at your um, technique in the gym or even your running technique if you want to set up the camera and film and upload into Team Builder then it goes straight to your journal and I can check it out for you and give you some feedback as well as just how to upload your data particularly around the gym side of things so we can progress your strength and power development. One indicator will be body weight so first thing in the morning ideally do this nude with no water no food in your belly so it's a good um, measure and it's a reliable measure so if we, we do it well at the start you want to make sure that we repeat that same process um, so whatever you do the first time around if that means you've got clothes on make sure you have you're wearing similar clothes the next time you do it so we're getting an accurate measure and in terms of the workout um, we've got a moderate session to kick the week off uh, Wednesday is going to be an easy session for the week feel good session and then Christmas Eve will be our main session for the week. Uh, we will get plenty of recovery before your next main session. So we're going pretty hard on, on Friday. Simple warm up, your own mobility, bit of a jog. Then we're building up your intensity with some strides. So two at 55%, that's max velocity. So if you can move you know, 10 meters per second, let's say you're moving at 5.5 meters per second, which is at a running pace. And then it's two efforts at 65%, which is more a little bit more of an acceleration effort. Then we've picked three of our change of direction work. We we'll, You'll find in the program we'll pretty regularly do some speed drills and some uh, change direction technique work. It's, it's a great opportunity each session to work on these um, so you're improving your competency in these movements, your first three steps and your ability to cut and change angles. Uh, so treat those movements like a skill, practice the these different moving patterns and mix it up as much as you can. Variation is good, so you've got more options on the football field. So you choose three and focus more going like at a to, at a pace that you can move well and, and focus on your footwork. So you're not going flat chat with the change of direction. In terms of our conditioning, we've got your three different um, targets. So you should know if you're in the A's, the B's or the C's and that's relative to your average speed that you moved out for the fitness test, the 2K time trial, or repeat 1Ks. We've got 200 meter efforts, six of them. So you hit your target, let's say you're in the B group, you aim for a 47 second rep, and then you give yourself your, your rest period in between um, 60 seconds, and then we go again. In between sets is a pretty short turnaround, only 60 seconds, and then we get into our 250 meter efforts. And same thing, so the Bs are aiming for 59 seconds here, five reps, and then we've got a 90 second recovery between the next set, which is where we've got our 300 meters. So aerobic running is a good opportunity to focus on your rhythm, your posture, make sure you've got vision of the whole ground if you're running around an oval. So practicing high posture, relaxing the shoulders, and you should be keeping your feet quite close to the ground with a, sh with a high cadence, so short, quick steps. We're not striding out. So your feet aren't really leaving the ground because you're not putting a lot of force into the ground. So really important that you've got short, quick steps, high cadence. That's really good for your joints, your knees particularly. 
um, and we're focusing on being nice and relaxed and, and breathing really well. So you should your heart rate shouldn't be getting super elevated with aerobic running. Threshold running, however, we are working on your work rate. So this should feel like a fitness test every time we're doing th threshold running where your heart rate is, is ideally above 90% of your max. Um, and research shows that exposure to above 90% of your max uh, elicits a great stimulus in terms of physiology. So that's what we wanna try and focus on when we're doing our threshold efforts. So when you see threshold, when you think when you see aerobic, you think and feel good. When you're seeing threshold, you think and work rate. So we've got our targets again for the A, Bs and Cs. Uh, get as close to that as you can. Uh, and then in our recoveries, look to focus on lowering your heart rate. So imagine you've just gone on the bench and you're feeling fatigued, or maybe you're, you're uh, a couple of plays off the game and you're on the ground. We want to try and focus on recovering as well as we can so we go into the next contest uh, better able to bring intensity to it. So focusing on long, slow breaths and belly breathing will allow you to um, have quality between those reps. And we want to have uh, consistency between the two 800 meter reps, ideally. So you got a two minute rest period and then we're done. That's the conditioning program done. Shouldn't take any longer, including the warm up, than 35 minutes. And uh, it's all about quality and, and making sure that you're disciplined with your rest periods in between. Don't let it drag out for too long. Thanks guys. If you have any questions or queries, feel free to message me.